Welcome to our number patterns lesson. Today we're going to look at number patterns. Let's have a look what I've got on the screen for us. Here is one ball. Here is another ball. And another ball. Now we've got two balls. Let's count the next one. One, two, three. Now we have three balls. One, two, three, four. Now we've got four balls. The first row we've got one. The next row we've got two, three, and four. Our number pattern goes one, two, three, four. But how does it work? How did I get the next number? Let's have a look. We said plus one. So we had one ball. We added another ball to the second line. Now we have two balls. So one plus one gives me two. Then I added another ball plus one. So two balls plus one more ball gives me three. Then I added one more. Three balls plus one more ball gives me four. So we added one. Our number pattern is to add one to each number. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now let's look at some number patterns. Let's count. Two, repeat after Mrs. Mitchell. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We are counting in twos, but what does that mean? How do I know what the next number is? I added two. That means two plus two gives me four. Plus two gives me six. Plus 2 gives me 8. Plus 2 gives me 10. Plus another 2 gives me 12. So if I had to write it down as a sum, the first one will be 2 plus 2 equals 4. So 2, 4. If I had to write another sum, it would be 4 plus 2 equals 6. 6 plus 2 equals 8. 8 plus 2 equals 10. And 10 plus 2 equals 12. And so it carries on. So counting in twos, the number pattern is that we are adding 2 on each number. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Great 2. If I had to say 12 plus 2, what would the next number be? Can you shout it out loud? Yes, it will be 14. Well done. Let's have a look at our next number pattern. Count with me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can you, without me telling you, guess what the number pattern is? What are we counting in? Yes, we are counting in fives. We are adding five each time. So five... 10, I had to add 5 to get to 10. 5 plus 5 gives me 10. Plus another 5 gives me 15. Plus another 5, 20. Plus another 5, 25. Plus another 5, 30. So if I count in 5s, I add 5 every time. Let's have a look at a sum. So we are looking at number 25 at the end of our number pattern. So 25 plus 5 equals 30. So if I had to write it out as a sum, that is what it would look like. But when we count in number patterns, we don't say plus 5 plus 5 or plus 2. We just count in the number pattern of 5s. Count with me quickly again. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30. Well done, grade twos. Another number pattern. Count with me. 36. Hmm, this looks like a hard one. 39, 42, 
45, 48, and 51. Hmm, what are we counting in now? Let's use our fingers, make a fist, and say 36. Good. Now let's go. Now lift your pinky and go 37. Lift your next finger, 38. Lift your next finger, 39. How many fingers do you see in front of you? Good, you see three fingers. So we are plussing, we, our number pattern is plussing what? Threes, very good. So 36 plus 3 gives me 39. What will I add next? Good, another 3 because our number pattern is counting in threes. So 39 plus 3 equals 42. Plus 3 equals 45. Plus another 3, 48. Plus our last 3, 51. You can carry on to make a longer number pattern if you like in threes. Let's have a look at a sum. So we said 36 plus 3 equals 39. And we carry on like that. So our number pattern is counting in threes. Count with me. 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51. So what did I do every time? I added three for my number pattern, counting in threes. Are you ready to count with Mrs. Mitchell? 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. Can you remember what these numbers are? Yes, they are odd numbers. Now, what did we count in, in odd numbers? Let's quickly make a fist again. Everybody make a fist and say 11. So our fist value is 11. Lift your pinky, go 12, 13. How many fingers? I see two fingers in front of me. Do you see two fingers? Well done. We added two. But now you're thinking in your head, but Mrs. Mitchell... If I add 2, I am counting in 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Hmm, I tricked your brain, grade 2s. When we count in an odd number, we also can add 2. But now we're just adding 2s in odd numbers. So let's go. So 11 plus 2 gives me 13. If I add another 2, it gives me 15. Plus another 2, 17. Another 2, 19, plus another 2 gives me 21. That means my number pattern is counting in 2s, but with odd numbers. So if I had to say 11 plus 2, it will give me 13. So my number pattern is counting in 2s, but with odd numbers. Are you ready to count with me? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now I know you can tell me already what our number pattern is. What is our number pattern? Yes, it is 10. We are counting in tens. So that means I add 10 to get to 20. 10 plus 10 gives me 20. Plus another 10 gives me 30. Another 10 gives me 40. And another 10 gives me 50. If I had to add 10 to 50, what would it give me? 60. And another 10? 70. Well done, grade 2's, you're so smart. So our number pattern is counting in 10's. If I had to do a sum, it would be 20 plus 10 gives me 30. And if I have to say 30 plus 10, it would give me 40. Let's count in number patterns of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Well done, grade 2. Okay, let's do the next one. 26, 28, 30. <gasps> There's a question mark. What does that mean? Carries on 34, 36. Hmm. Let's count again. 26, 28, 30. 
I don't know what that number is. 34, 36. But I know. Let's work out the number pattern. So 26, 28. What did I have to add to get that number? I plus 2. So 26 plus 2 gives me 28. 28 plus 2 gives me 30. So 30 plus what? Plus 2 gives me what? Let's have a look. So I've got 30 plus 2. Let's count. 30, 31, 32. Oh, the answer is 32. So after 30, we'll, be, we'll get 32. But now what happens if I had to do it from another direction? Will I plus or minus? If I had to start at the number 36. So if I had to start at number 36 and go backwards, what would happen? Let's have a look. So if I had to go backwards, I would have to minus. So 36 minus 2 gives me 34. And if I have to go backwards again, 34 minus 2 gives me my answer. Let's have a look at the sum. So 34 minus 2 will give me 32. So if I go forward, I will plus. And if I count backwards, I would minus. So 34 minus 2 gives me 32. Now I've got my answer because if I have to add plus 2 going forward, it gives me 32. Or I have to count backwards, it also gives me 32. So let's count the number pattern. 26, 28, 30. What's the answer? 32, 34, 36. Good job, grade twos. Our next one. 105, 110, 115. Oh, there's another question mark. 125 and 130. Let's see. What are we counting in? Yes, we are counting in fives forward. So 105 plus 5 gives me 110. Plus another 5 gives me 115. Plus another 5 gives me what? Let's have a look at the sum. So if I said 115 plus 5, it will give me what? Let's count. Five fingers, let's go. So first make your fist. 115. Let's go. 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. So 115 plus 5 gives me 120. Let's try it. 105, 110, 115, 120. 125, 130. I completed my number pattern. But let's try counting backwards from 130 and see if we can also get the answer. So I'm at 130. I'm now going to minus 5 because we're jumping back in 5. So 130 minus 5 gives me 125. Minus 5 gives me 100 and what? Let's see. So 125 minus 5 gives me? 120. Well done, grade twos. I hope you enjoyed your number patterns lesson today. And remember to complete your homework. Have fun and if you have any questions, just ask your teacher.